Ten generaciones de la gente indígena. ¿O qué tanto hablan español? ¿O un niño ha hablado mucho? ¿No hablas español? ¿Pero conoces todas las palabras malas? ¿Y no me Stand up, the three of you. Yeah. Who's read half? The first half. <laughs> okay. Let, let me let me tell you what's going on in the world. Uh, the book you need to read is Rain of Gold, and read that, and have your parents read it again, his fathers and your grandmother, and everybody read it because that's. Uh, brings us together as a culture. Rain of Gold is a trilogy. It's uh, Rain of Gold. My pants are getting loose. <laughs> I've lost, I'm losing weight, so se me cayeron los pantalones the other day. I reached up to get something and they didn't tighten and they lost. <laughs> I'm getting out of my fat pants and into my regular pants. Anyway, uh, Rain of Gold is our Bible. It's our story. When you read Rain of Gold, 13 Senses, and Wild Steps of Heaven, it, it unites us with, with God and with creation. The Bible is the Jewish story. Every tribe has their own story. Burroheyu, the next trilogy, is Burroji, Jesus, Wild Steps of Heaven. No, you're old. That one I told high school kids, you can't read that one. How old are you guys? <laughs> well, then you've heard about sex. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, because uh, Wild Steps of Heaven has sex in it. Uh, it's crazy local love. Oh. I got it mixed up. Thank you for correcting my sex. Sorry. <laughs> so the next one is Rain of Gold, 13 Senses, Wild Steps of Heaven. That's one trilogy. The mis padres, my grandparents, and the story of Mexico and coming to this country and, and getting married, my parents, and all that. Now, the next one is Burro Genius, Crazy Local Love, and Beyond Rain of Gold. Burro Genius is from 5 years old to 16. And then Crazy Local Loves from 16 to 20 when I go back to Mexico and, and find my culture that had been demolished from me. How many of you here uh, started school in the United States? Okay. How many of you here only spoke Spanish when you first started school? Okay. How many of you felt really scared and frightened and, and all these bad things. When you started school and you didn't know any English and, and how many of you felt scared and all that when you first started school? Come on, raise your hand. Look. In Burma 
Virginia, I show the first day I started school. I didn't speak any English. And the first thing they did was scream at us, English only, no Spanish. And we're in the back, in the front are all the white kids and the black, you know, all the white kids in the back are all the black kids and the Mexican kids. And they say, no Spanish. And I'm back there crying and crying because my mother left me. And they said, no me dejes, mama, no me dejes, no entiendo nada. We said, no, you got to go to school. No, mama, get up and come in stay with me. She said, no, you got to go. She ended up crying and crying. And the guy in back, and he said, Ramon, he said, para de hablar, ya eres grande, yo lo digo. You're already big. And I said, no, I'm not big. I want my mama. <laughs> and then uh, he said, ten vergüenza, no se está yo, have some pride. I said, you're crying. I have no pride. I want my mama. <laughs> you know, you know, I thought, so the teacher finally, you know, no, bad, English only. And she yelled real wild, and it really scared me. So I started yelling. Beep, 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 beep. And I'd go to the bathroom for because she scared me. And she said, not till recess. No, not till recess. Well, I understood this. I'm trying not to beep it. I'm trying to beep. But I'm so scared, I start beeping. And when you're scared, you can beep me a lot. And I started running down my leg and forming a big puddle. And, and uh, the girl next to me, I guess, can smell it real pretty girl. She, and she looks over and sees me and I chackle next to my foot. And she says, and I, and she looks at me, ooh, rascal. And I say, oh, no girl's ever been a lot of married. And I get scared and I go to the bathroom. And, uh, and I, at recess, I go to the bathroom, I take off my pants, and I know where to throw over the toilet, flush the toilet, the toilet overflows. <laughs> and I run out of there, and I find, I'm looking for the vacos, the Mexican kids, and they're nowhere. They're nowhere to be seen. Find that spot on there, way over there at the end of the playground. <coughs> I guess technically, you know, we're starting a gang over there. <laughs> and then, uh, so I go over there and I say, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? And one of them says, Yo no sé, aquí nos tratan como pendejo. <laughs> Pendejos, that's a scientific word in Spanish. Some of you might know. It's a technical word. It means stupid, but it's got a lot of science behind it. A lot of meaning. And um, so the playground teacher comes over and she starts screaming, you already don't know Spanish, English only. The subspace of her mom, he doesn't get scared. He looks at this big woman and they say, no me estás gritando, what is mi madre? <laughs> and she said, I said no Spanish. And laughing, she starts shaking him by the shoulders. He still doesn't get scared. He says, déjame ir, no tienes derecho. And she said, I said, and that means let go of me, you don't have the right to grab him. She said, I said no Spanish, grabs him by the hair, starts slapping him, slapping him until he's bloody. Sent us back to the classroom. Took him, washed him up, and then brings him to the classroom, just throws him in. And my mother picked me up at the end of school. Who do you think I didn't like or trust anymore? Who? Wow, who? You know, my, mother. my mom. I didn't like to trust my mom anymore because she left me. And I asked her not to leave me. And my father, just before I started school, the day before I started kindergarten, he told me that everybody loves Mexicans. What a stupid thing to tell me in racist California. <laughs> he said, everybody loves Mexicans. I'll prove it to you. Look at the blacks and the whites. They come to the barrio. They have a few enchiladas. And then they drink a tequila and they try to sing with their mariachi. So it was everybody loved me. So I went to school thinking everybody loved me. And my father always told me that the most important thing a man can do is to scoher the right woman to, well, not to breed me. <laughs> and, and then, uh, so I went to school, you know, looking for a pretty girl so I'd know who to marry and the smartest woman around because who you marry, guys, isn't just a person. She becomes the mother of their children. And you got to keep that in mind. And you girl, when you marry a guy, don't say, oh, he's just so cute, he's so nice, he loves me. 
Tell them for the love of cow. That's not important. <laughs> what it's important is to be smart enough to realize that this is going to be the father of your children. You've got to watch how he behaves, how he does things. It's a big choice to go into marriage. Well, anyway, so my father told me all these smart things, and when I got home, I didn't trust my father anymore. I didn't believe in his stories anymore. I didn't believe my mother's stories, the Mexico that you're reading in Rain of Gold. And I lost my culture. That's what English only does. 